Live. Um, I have Godwin Sinan. Hello, everyone. I have Godwin Sinan with me today. Um, we're going to be talking about um, an individual known, known as Matthew Vickers. Yeah, hello, John. Yeah. Um, I have to tell people what this is about, because people might be just tuning in not knowing what we're talking well, about. Well, just first of all, before we get into settling the issues of the day, I think we should yeah, sure. talk about, for a, for a start, right? Uh, I don't know why you've decided to put this weird, sort of filthy, grubby cartoon as the thumbnail it's a for cartoon. the stream. If it's Lollicon, John, I'm, it's gone. Not I'm not going to talk to you. It's not Lollicon. If it's from a Lollicon source, like, it isn't what, what from, on earth is this cartoon? It's from Pop Team Epic. Right, so already I just don't know what you're talking about. But we'll, well continue with your Well, maybe you shouldn't comment on things you don't know Second of all, about. right, John, just, just second of all, mm -hmm. right, you're calling me out on Twitter saying you want to fire up a stream straight away. You leave yeah. me waiting for 20 minutes, and I don't know why. Because I mean, I are you writing up. down a script? Because I don't think your words will help. I don't you, have John. a script. Like, I really don't. I, why did it take 20 minutes to set up a stream that takes seconds to fire up? <laughs> Who cares? I just don't know why you left me waiting. It makes no sense. I told but there you are my that. two issues. Of I the told day you as soon as I got the stream Before we begin time set settling out. everything in the halls of debate here, John, for heaven's sake. Mm -hmm. So, what do we want to talk about first? Do we want to talk about Josh? Because I think that's salient just before we begin in the Matthew Vickers stuff, right? Uh, you want to talk about Josh? Sure. Um, what Let's I don't just talk get about is... Josh for a moment. Yeah. I am perfectly happy to walk back whatever full endorsement I gave Josh on winning and BTFOing Dax on the pedo debate, right? I was under the apprehension that Josh was 15 when he was doing that Blockland stuff. Clearly, I'm wrong. And I'm perfectly happy to recognize that Josh was adamantly defending Lollicon. Back well, I would in, be okay if what, he was February 15. on his Kiwi Farms. Like, I'm perfectly happy to recognize that. Sure. And I do think that his change of mind, either it's very convenient or he's come to that change of mind after running whatever it was, 9chan and having pedophiles surreptitiously post Lollicon on that site, whether he's come to that conclusion via convenience or because of experience, either way, it's a very quick change of mind. So I'm happy to concede that, John. Is there anything else you want to talk to me about, Josh, before we move on? Um, you said something weird. Why would it be okay for Josh to be looking up Shota Khan when he's 15? It doesn't make any sense. Well, when Josh is on Blockland 10 years ago, when he's apparently 15... I thought that was a little bit more okay than if he was in his mid twenties. So what? There's That's age just me, John. Okay, so my question to you then is: there age appropriate, Shota? No. Well, then why the fuck would be okay when he's fifteen? It doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, isn't Josh also a minor when he's fifteen? Like, it doesn't on, matter. Like, he's a minor. The whole, the whole that kind of hardcore general this. shit isn't fucking but again, normal. Josh the excuse was not 15. doesn't make sense. I'm happy to concede the point that Josh was not fifteen, and I'm happy to concede the point that Josh was very conveniently changing his mind well, around Josh the time is a piece of shit. Why would you trust him to begin Lollipop? with? I'm perfectly happy to concede that point, John. Is there anything else? Um, why would you trust Josh to begin with? He's a piece of shit. <laughs> Tell us something new. Tell us something new, John. No, no the question, it, that's the dodging the question. Why would you trust Josh's word? Well, I mean, anything? is it dodging the question to also bring up why would you trust Sen, who also looks at Lollicon and stuff like that? How far do you want to go, John? Because I'm willing to go all the way. Well, first, if we you want to talk to Sen, Matthew you can Vickers. go to Sen yourself. I'm My not association play with Josh here. is not as deep and well-connected as your association with Sen the pedophile. Who is Sen? Let me just you know clarify that. I'm not calling Josh my friend. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to walk back whatever endorsement I gave him on the fucking him BTFOing Diddler Dax on the That's pedo Lollicon. Great. Question. Sen already addressed these allegations on a stream, and if you want to go ahead and confront him about it, well, we're not going to come to an agreement him. where Sen's on a pedophile in my mind. So, uh, I mean, we're just not. Uh, okay, agree so to why that. do you think Sen's a pedophile? I'm curious. Well, <laughs> he's masturbating to Lollicon. He's gathering Lollicon. That's he's not what being he says. catfished. No, that was my retarded mistake for saying. Via Lollicon and pedophiles? Like, come on, John. We're not going to agree on this issue where I don't think that Sen, your best friend, is a pedophile. <laughs> And I would question your judgment if you're questioning my judgment on Josh. I would question your judgment as to why you actually call this Sen guy your friend and you're willing to back for him on Twitter. I am perfectly happy to wheel back whatever endorsement I gave for Josh in light of the facts. The reality is I didn't realize that he was posting on Kiwi Farms in February about how Lollicon was great. I didn't realize that was the mm -hmm. case. Yeah, sure. And I do think it's a convenient change of mind that he had when he was debating Diggler Dax. Now, I don't know if that's purely convenience or whether he's actually come to that change of mind through his experience, but I do think that change of mind is relatively quick. So how far do we want to go, John? Do we want to move on to Matthew Vickers or carry on with this? Uh, sure, I just want to address John. this real quick. Okay, so th for those who don't know, Sen apparently shared Lollicon in one instance in order to get into a girl's pants. But um, why are you, you even saying ahead. apparently? There's documented evidence of this. Well, okay, fine. There's documented evidence of this happening. 
on fucking so it's not an apparent hypothetical scenario it's true it's real it's fact okay sure it's true he was in a um dm conversation he shit and he posted lollicon pictures to a person privately who gives a fuck so do you want to carry on then uh, attacking me for josh or do you want to yeah no i want to i want to i want i do want to actually carry on attacking for josh because you're making a false equivalency here Sen already addressed this. He did so on the Cross of Judgment stream. I don't ahead care if he it. addressed it. He still did this. Oh, right? so you just want to it's judge the same people with without Josh hearing... addressing his degeneracy. You want to judge people without... He still without... did this. Okay, so whether so we let Godwinson. one thing slide so or Godwinson. another thing slide, John, I mean, we just have to move forward because we're not going to agree or come to an agreement where I think that Sen is not a pedophile. That's just not going to happen. No, here's the thing. When someone's accused of something, I'm going to be willing to listen to hear the other side out. Just as I was listening to hear Josh on his side out. Oh, his okay, well, have you listened to Josh's side? Like, have yeah, you even bullshit, spoken man. to Josh? Like, he have you asked about Josh to come age. on the stream with you? He lied. Jo well, firstly, Josh would never come on stream with me because too much of a chicken shit. Well, guy. I mean, have you Secondly, even asked him? Because, I mean, you, you made a tweet or a stream about you know, uh, Godwinson would never talk to me. Well, here I am, and I'm perfectly No, I never said that. I didn't say that. Why are you putting words I'm pretty sure in that video you made, what you video? were all about, oh, Godwinson's scared, and he won't talk to me, and he'll use PPP as, like, his fucking side. That's because the reason I like, said that, sure you said firstly, that. I didn't say mm, you would never talk to me, firstly. And secondly, the reason I said that was because as soon as I said, hey, how about you invite me on stream? We can hash it out there. And there was you, uh, King of Pole, and PPP. Three people have expressed bias against me, and I was willing to go on. And you're like, no, no, I don't want to waste my time with John Kelly. John Kelly's Let just me a tell you, John, that He's I had, God. John, 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 I had zero knowledge of who you were. Mm -hmm. Like, zero knowledge. All I knew was a faint fucking whisper from Leo Pirate a couple of, what, uh, months ago? About how John Michael Kelly was the hero of Game Again. Or was some crazy Why nut would... job who was deciding to, you know, jump on the simpspiracy. That's all I know about you, John. Like, zero. Like, there's absolutely zero job. Why would you just so believe I'm, people without checking things? I'm perfectly willing to believe my friend. Well, 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 my friend PPP on stream when he says that you're spurging out. PPP the is busy throwing you under the bus. The Why are you, you were wait, wait, out. wait a minute. PPP okay, is John? busy throwing you under the bus. Why do you call him your friend? Well, I mean, if he is throwing me under the bus, he was my friend at the time when he was telling me about who you were. Yeah, well, so I'm going to believe He's a him, retard. Right? He doesn't know what he's talking about at all. Like... So you're going to make the argument that PPP is this fat retard with yes. zero agency and he's constantly led by more powerful people. It's just completely irrelevant and just absurd. Yes, I, I will make the argument John. that PPP right. is a fat retard. I will give you, the, a, will give you a valid point here when you say that, okay, PPP was sort of humiliated. And like He was irrelevant. Like By the time Ralph had chewed him up and his asshole had been exposed all over the fucking internet, yeah, sure, he was irrelevant. He was getting two views or whatever a video. Yeah. And I came along and I saw that this guy... I could actually spar off this guy creatively, and we had a fucking great time making videos. So whether he's throwing me under the bus now, like, we still had a good time making videos, and, okay, sure, I gave him an audience, but pretty much from beyond what? Since he came back, all of that audience has been his. Like, it's all him. I'm not doing, pulling any strings. PPP has agency. He's not remedial. No, the reason not, I call... Like, no, no, why keep up with agency? You could be a retard without, with, um, and have full agency. The problem with PPP is he makes these wild accusations and goes on these rants about how yeah, he's going to kill You also make pedophiles. these wild accusations. I make wild accusations. This is the internet. Joke. No, I have things to back my shit up. I don't know what do you're you talking really? about. Yes, so I do. So when you're saying that... when you're Okay, let's go into Matthew Vickers then. So okay, when you're sure. saying that Matthew Vickers... Let's just read the tweets. When you're saying that Matthew Vickers is... Uh, disgusting or, or he's raised this whore of a daughter and stuff like that just read the tweet so people have context yeah sure let me pull up on screen um give me a second there we go um let me get the first tweet because i do want to address i this just don't one. understand why you laugh under this pretense that you're uh, morally pure and you never make any baseless assertions i don't I mean, that's what you constantly i do. don't you 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 don't know anything about me if that's the case. I've told people repeatedly, don't just take my word on things. Look things up yourself. I am not a perfect individual. People like say that I'm a self righteous prick. I'm not. I have my own mistakes and character flaws. I tell people, yeah, go ahead, pick them apart. I'm not telling people, oh yeah, I am so much better than that. Aha. I mean, if I come across well, that, well, way, John, okay, part of the let show. me just read your tweets here. Sure. You read. This is what you said to Matthew Vickers, father of Faith, Ethan mm -hmm. Ralph's girlfriend, who's fresh out of high school. This, these are your words, John. You raised your daughter to be a degenerate whore, and no matter no amount of trying to deflect from your shitty parenting by getting big mad on the internet with the empty tough guy threats will ever change. Do better with your remaining kids. Maybe one or more of them will amount to something. For heaven's sake, John, that whole thing is baseless. Like, what are no, you talking about? No, it's not. About? 
Faith is okay, a liar, well, and she lied for money. By She's... lying, John. Huh? Yeah. Your do- so how has Matthew Vickers single-handedly raised his daughter to be a degenerate whore? Is like, she out fornicating? Is she out fornicating with the gun? Is she John, out fornicating with the gun? Where did Matthew with the gun? Vickers sit his daughter down when she was a child and say, "I'm going to raise you to be a degenerate"? Uh, Godwin, saying, don't do this reframing happen? the argument trick. I know you like to do that to people, but I'm not going to have that. Look, As to I'm answer just your saying question directly, this is baseless. This is yeah. entirely baseless. It's John. baseless. Like, what you're saying is, is baseless. Okay, how so how have you come to the conclusion that Matthew Vickers raised his daughter to be a degenerate whore? I'm That's pretty baseless. sure everyone no saw exactly how and why she's a fucking whore. That's why. But how has he raised his daughter to be that Because way? she became that way, you fucking retard. And she has a history of doing it, even she, she was a minor. So, so of course, he didn't raise her to be chased enough. Way, yeah, because it's his fucking fault. Way, and the parents should own the illness, responsibility John. that that's, their daughter's no, a fucker. She clearly has a mental illness. And yeah. you're, you're saying that that's purely down to Matthew Vickers raising her to be a degenerate whore? It's just not the case. That's baseless. Yeah, no, dude, I point so, out. Can we move on? Did you? Did to, you no, we're not moving on. We're not moving on from this point yet. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Or should we just carry on? Okay, so if I'm talking, don't interrupt me. And secondly, um, when it comes to like... I um, can't even hear you, John. I can't even hear you, John. Hey, are you having All trouble hearing me? All I'm hearing is me? lies. You're hearing lies from me? Just, well, three, two, one, go. Lay out your stall and I'll lay out mine. Go. Okay, sure. Um, the Come reality on, is that she has sex with Ralph for money and fame. That's why she's having sex with him. That's why she's in a relationship with him. Because she wants the e-clout. That's it. Um, you could also say that Ralph is in an inappropriate relationship and that, you know, there was like a little bit of grooming involved and stuff. But at a certain point, I got to stop feeling sympathy for this, um, supposed victim when she's not even filing any kind of charges or suing Ralph for the revenge porn that he released, which she's still a victim of that, but she's a retarded victim. I'm not going to have sympathy for her when it's weeks and weeks and weeks go by and there's no charges and no lawsuit filed, nothing. Instead, she just sticks with the gun. So she's clearly doing it because the gun is a popular guy, and that's the only reason anyone would ever do Ralph to begin with, yeah. unless you want John, to say that Ralph John, has a... John, what? Look, all of this is irrelevant because we're talking about Matthew Vickers. Right, and he he raised his daughter to be this way. That is how she developed this way. It's just not the case. That then is just what, not then the explain case. the degeneracy. There's a clear document, John, there's a clear documented history uh-huh. that she has with mental health professionals and yeah. having mental illness. That is not down to Matthew Vickers. She could be Matthew mentally Vickers ill and not a whore. Mentally... John, John, John. Matthew Vickers. No, is we're not, not giving her the. Oh, she has Ill. mental illness. She has no agency pass. No, fuck that shit. John, John, John. How does how does her being mentally ill mean that Matthew Vickers has raised his daughter to be a degenerate whore? What does her mental illness have to do with her being a degenerate whore? John, answer the question. We're talking about Matthew Vickers. No, the Vickers question is just retarded. It's been framed in such a disingenuous man. manner. With zero but, empathy and zero respect. You're firing? You're saying that Oh, I don't have enough empathy? Oh, to too bad. I don't or. care. So what? I'm not a big hero. I'm not going out there saying, oh, yes, I got to defend Faith. In fact, I did defend her. I said, no, hey, no, this is you're also for saying that this you make claims that aren't based. John, you're also saying that you make claims that aren't baseless and all have, like, 100% verifiable evidence when you don't. Okay, fine. Then uh, I guess uh, she Faith isn't a liar. She is just going out with Ralph because of all the good. What does faith, right, for a start, what does faith lying have to do with you saying that Matthew Vickers raised her, sat her down when she was a child, and said, You're going to grow up to be a degenerate whore? What does that mean? Godwinson, Godwinson, realistically, does anyone actually sit down their degenerate children and say, Yeah, go do these degenerate things? Or is it no, of course not? Which is why you saying. Which is why you saying you raised your daughter to be a degenerate whore is just wrong and baseless. No, and it's not. It hasn't happened. But no, that is what happened, Godwinson. Like, the proof is in so the you're pudding. Saying, How are you like, denying her? Be- this? The you're only way your argument you're makes any sense this? is if you want to take up oh, the faith. Matthew Vickers is the only person in the world that sat his whore whore daughter down and said you're going to be a degenerate whore like god on, that's man. not how reality works people don't become no it's not ups. how reality works then why are you making so that argument you saying it's not the case? why are you making that argument godwinson that the only way that someone can be raised to be a degenerate whore is if they actually the parent specifically tells them in these instructions it's fucking retarded the problem is, is okay, that well, you the, the problem is that despite matthew, matthew vickers, vickers being this base chad whore. dad the chad dad matthew john vickers. michael kelly what Give me your conditions on how Matthew Vickers has raised this degenerate whore daughter. I already I did. I don't see any evidence that he's personally raised this daughter. Okay, do you believe whore. that Faith is a whore? Are you going to answer my question, John, or are you just going to fire back? I am questions? answering your question because every time I answer it, you're like denying the fact that she's a whore or seemingly to do so. So I'm clarifying no, if you believe she's a whore. The fact that she's a degenerate whore who was thumbed by Ethan Ralph? Okay. That's reality. That, that is all the but evidence I don't I need. believe. I, look, John, I don't believe Matthew, that Matthew Vickers, Vickers, a horrible parent. Her father raised her to be a degenerate whore. 
Sure, she's a degenerate whore. She got thumbed by Ethan Ralph. Oh, was she just born that way, Godwinson? But I don't believe that it's all solely down to Matthew Vickers. Godwinson, was she just born that way? To be this way. Was she just born that way then? She didn't. She wasn't raised to be this way. She's got a mental illness, John. Oh, okay. So she, her mental illness makes you a degenerate whore. That makes no fucking sense. In fact, that's that's insulting to both people in that situation where their only only means of survival is like whoring themselves out. So you're saying that the only turn, so John, you're saying that you only turn out to be a degenerate whore if you have Matthew Vickers as a father. Like, what is your? If argument? you have bad parenting, then yes, you will become a degenerate. Well, okay, for a start, like that's further on in this tweet. So you say no amount of trying to deflect from your shitty parenting by getting mad on the internet with FD tough guy threats will ever change. So define shitty parenting. Him not raising his daughter better to not become this <laughs> way. How do you know he's not raised his daughter better? Like, I because don't she is the way she is. Because out. the parents didn't take care for her enough. Obviously, the fault he lies in the parents. For her enough? Like, what? What are you defining as care? Not sitting down with your daughter, and telling her, "Hey, don't be a leftist degenerate fuck." Very simple stuff. Uh, stuff, Godwinson. I know you're not a parent, well, this so you guy, understand this shit. Vote, like, so, doesn't Matthew Vickers vote for Trump? He goes to the Trump Hotel. He's a are you making the case? Wait, Republican wait, wait Godwinson, with all, owner? Godwinson, I'm pretty with all sure the, he's not a leftist, a, John. Godwinson, with all the coverage you've done about the alt-right and the right in general being degenerate fuck-ups, are you really surprised that Trump supporters aren't these Christian chaste people? But you're saying that because he didn't sit her down and say leftists are evil, that that's bad parenting, when that's yeah. not the case. No, actually, that's not bad parenting. Telling people that leftist values is bad and evil and you shouldn't follow them is good fucking parenting. Right, okay, so that's good parenting, and that's exactly what Mr. Vickers was doing. Mr. Was Vickers it? was doing this. He's a Clearly Republican. he wasn't doing it enough if his daughter's going bad grifting off of Black Lives enough. Matter. What's he supposed to do? Clockwork Orange style, tape her eyes open <laughs> so she can watch fucking... Black Lives Matter protests. <laughs> like, what are you orange. talking about, John? <laughs> That's funny. Um, what I'm talking about is the fact that despite all his boasts and his claims and his wild and his tall tales about how he's such a victim and all this other shit, he clearly didn't raise the daughter right because if he raised the daughter right, the daughter would grow up to be right. It's that simple. There's only so much parenting can go, John. Yeah, There's you know so what? so far a parent can actually go in raising their child. Yeah, you know and what? I am I've, certain in my own is, mind the thing is, that God Matthew listen. Vickers did not sit his daughter down and say, here's how to grow up to be a degenerate whore. I'm pretty sure he did everything <laughs> in his power to stop that from being a reality. If that was the case, why was she allowed on the internet when she was had this mental illness? Why was she allowed on shooting ranges? John, why, why are you allowed on the internet when you've got a mental illness? I don't have a like, mental come illness. come on, man. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't, I'm not mentally ill. You're fucking talking bullshit now, attacking my character because you've... Okay, okay, okay John, right. We'll walk back and pretend that you don't have autism, right? We'll pretend that that's not the case. I don't have but, autism. I mean, are you going to shackle up people with autism away from the internet? Are you just going to say, no autist, you can't have any internet? Dude, that's pretty that bad is parenting. such a false equivalency. Having autism and being suicidally depressed are two fucking different things. If you can't wrap your head well, around that, in my mind, idiot. they're all mental illnesses, John. Well, they're this all is why you're not a doctor, Godwinson, so... and you shouldn't be talking about mental health. I shouldn't be talking about mental health. No, okay. because you don't know what well, the fuck you're talking about. I'm not talking from any professional expertise on mental health. No, you're well, not. If you did a little bit, if you did a modicum of research on this, you would know those are two completely different things. And you can't just lump mental all mental health issues together. In a big and recently. So, I mean, it's not just me saying that she's mentally ill. It's bit healthcare professionals are the saying she's mentally ill. Her own father, her family, even Great. if the is saying that is a good point shilling. to bring up. So her father recognized she was mentally ill, but allowing her to go on the internet, unsupervised, getting involved with people, allowed her to go on a plane trip and all this other shit, and wasn't giving her the proper care and attention she, that she needs. That proves my point, that he raised his daughter to be a degenerate whore. Because he didn't care enough to actually treat the issues that she was going through. This Anything is else you want to add to that? First of all, right, Mr. Vickers' account of his daughter is that she was a good girl, she was great, she was one side to him, and then suddenly she's 18, she's flying out to Gunsville, Virginia, where she's got her own agency, and he was unaware of her being mentally ill. Like, he okay, was unaware Godwinson, you keep on doing this else. thing like, where you keep on saying- You can't saying, lay oh, the blame of this at Mr. Vickers' feet, for heaven's sake. Godwinson, get Godwinson, some Godwinson, you keep on doing this thing where at the same time you're saying, oh, Faith has her own agency, and oh, also she's mentally ill. Yeah, and ill. you don't even answer my questions, John. So Which is, is she too question. mentally retarded to go ahead and make her own decisions, or does she have agency? Which one do you want to go with? She has agency, clearly. Okay, then the, the whole mental, mental illness thing. Illness also have agency, John. Okay, like, great. Do you not live in a world great. where people that with is, mental illness that is have zero a agency? That is a wonderful answer. So don't bring up the fact that she's mentally ill, some kind of deflection from the fact that she's a degenerate whore. 
Do you not think that her mental illness has led to her being thumbed by Ethan Ralph? Because I think it's no, I think that's her own fucking, fucking fault. I don't care professionals, her own family, and I don't think there's think any basis to make that claim this at this point. Job. I don't think there's any basis to make the claim that oh, her mental illness is what led to her being thumbed in the ass. Especially since you well, acknowledge it's a more, agency. John, John, John. It's a pretty more concrete claim and basis for which to make that claim. I've got healthcare professionals, her own family, her own friends saying that she's mentally ill. Well, I've got by more the way, of a what, what healthcare case on my side? What, what are you saying that Mr. Vickers is a wait, bad Wait, wait, what healthcare professionals? Do you have like any reports, documentation on this? Or are we just taking right, people's okay. words? Right, okay. So have you read Mr. Vickers' timeline where he checks her into a hospital and she's being. Matthew watched by Vickers a was accused of beating his own daughter, and you just believe him because, oh, well. I guess uh, okay, he's so the you're going to you're gonna believe Ethan Ralph when he says that Matthew Vickers has beat his own daughter, right? Oh, no, I'm, I don't I'm believe Ethan Ralph in anything. going to be like. No, don't don't text. So why, why, why are you even bringing card? up the fact that you know Ralph has said that Matthew Vickers has beaten his own daughter? Because why that claim that didn't up? originate from Ralph, you retard. It originated from Faith herself. She made that claim, and that's why Ralph echoed the claim. Now you could say that Ralph is a retard for bringing it out into the public. Sure, that's fair play. But the claim still originates from Faith, and she made the claim before Ralph ever made it. So we don't know who's right in the situation. No, no, she didn't make the claim before Ralph. That's just retarded. Then where There's no history of her talking and saying. I, I believe it's out there. You can father. find it. I don't have like the source, like on hand John, documentation. John, there's the zero evidence of her saying. So where did Ralph get the idea? Did Ralph father. just come up with it in thin air? Is that what you're saying? Ralph clearly coerced something out of her to get a win. The Where's the evidence of that? Where's the evidence of coercion? The evidence is the tweet, John. The, which tweet? the evidence is him saying, "Oh, it's funny because Faith has just told me that you beat her." Okay, so Ralph claims Faith told him that she beats uh, that he beats her. We're going to assume that was coerced. One hundred percent. Okay, he's the adult. Okay, well then you're he's an adult by almost. I'm 10 sorry, years. dude. You just he's don't know how evidence works. Senior, John? This I'm is the same sure. type of argument as Dax Herrera's blackmailing people. There's no evidence to back that up either. What are you even talking about? Why are you even bringing up Dax Herrera? What's ma the matter? Because your with argument you, John? is going to bring up an Your argument is now? the same now hard Zoe argument should be that nailed to a tree, John. No, like, no. Come on, for heaven's sake. No, the reason I bring that up is because PPP had claimed. Profusely, but I am not PPP. If you I want to talk to PPP, that. just fire that. up a stream with PPP. Oh no, that's let, never happening. Because let me just clarify this. No, let me. No, PPP let does me. not speak for me. I didn't speak for PPP. Mm -hmm. He's not a retard sure. with zero agency. He sure. has like no idea what's going on in the world. He's not like remedial. Sure. He does his own thing. For heaven's sake, John. Sure, sure. Okay, I can accept PPP, all that. Talk to PPP. You're missing the point, though. I didn't bring up PPP to like say, oh well, that's a reflection on you. I brought that up because it's a good comparison. You're claiming... It's not a good comparison. Yes. It's an irrelevant comparison. How is it irrelevant? What does PPP have to do with you making baseless claims about Matthew Vickers raising his daughter to be a degenerate whore? Oh, wait, so you have a problem with baseless claims? Why did you make a baseless claim that Ralph coerced I've faith? always had a problem with your baseless claims, John. No, wait, I wait. have no problem with making baseless claims myself. Oh, I so said this frequently. Okay, so, so why should anyone take you seriously? <laughs> talk about, oh, I'm exposing <laughs> you because you're making baseless claims. When you yourself also frequently say baseless claims, John. Okay, your so whole shtick is making okay, baseless I don't, claims, John. My, that is not my shtick. You can make that baseless claim you want. You do These love tweets, making baseless claims. We've not even like, re read past the first Dude, why should anyone take you seriously when you just admit that you make baseless claims all the time and you make baseless claims all the time John. i don't admit to that i don't admit to, you i've don't. never said that that was you who put that on yourself i never put that on myself i try okay, to John, get things as accurate as John, i can you raised your george to be a degenerate whore baseless claims it's not baseless, baseless. Claim it's John not Kevin. baseless she is a degenerate whore he raised her he raised her to be a degenerate whore one plus one equals two that's just nonsense that's absolute nonsense just because Matthew Vickers raised his okay, daughter, okay, so you don't believe that parenting. Mean, that's so you believe that parenting has no that effect. He raised on the, her to be a degenerate. Whore. Okay, that's great. just wrong. And I just want to. I, I just want to point. Also, just completely mm -hmm. absurd. Okay, so you're trying to say that parenting has nothing to do with the development of a child. No, I'm not. I'm years. not okay. trying to okay. say. I am saying that parenting only goes so far, and there's zero way. Matthew Vickers sat his daughter down and said, I'm going to raise you to be a degenerate whore. Yeah, Baseless so any mistake, any mistake that... Michael Kelly. Yeah, so any mistake that Faith does can be blamed on mental illness. But she still has agency. But at the same no, time, but, it's not, okay, it's not right. the parents' how, how fault. How can every mistake that Faith does be blamed on Matthew Vickers, John? 
I'm not saying every mistake is blamed strictly on Matthew Vickers. I'm saying that he didn't raise his daughter properly because if she has agency, but you she have no have the wherewithal to know. You have hey, zero you know what? When it comes to uh, dating 35-year-old men, men that are twice my age, I shouldn't be doing that. If she was raised properly, she wouldn't be getting involved with relationships with that guy or like I just don't know. I just don't know what you define as being raised properly. Matthew Vickers has raised his daughter perfectly well. I'm not here to give she, a lecture on parenting, mental illness, but a very basic thing that everyone can understand is that it's wrong to be a fucking whore. Path. A normal functioning human being who's been raised by a person like Matthew Vickers does not fly out to Guntsville, Virginia, does not be thumbed in the ass by Ethan Ralph. You have no basis for that, you retard. Well, you, you have zero basis for saying that Matthew Vickers raised his I already gave out the basis. Whore. You just want to reject the evidence that's right in front of your eyes. There's zero evidence, John. Is she, you admit she's evidence. a whore. You admit she has agency. Like, okay, you admit have she's you a whore. Camera? You admit she has agency. Have you got like, years of faith in Matthew Vickers' this father-daughter is a rich, this is, relationship? That wait, do I have to have a camera inside their personal lives in order to make a conclusion? Because I'm pretty sure you don't, John. I'm God, Winston, sure are you pulling a Sargon on me? Claims, John. God, Winston, are you doing this Sargon type of argument? Oh, do you have any video footage uh, evidence do you just of me bring typing this tweet? Ghosts from Gamergate constantly, John? It's like, not a ghost from Gamergate. What the fuck the are you fact talking that about? Anita Sarkeesian is alive and well, and she's not nailed to a tree. Dude, like, nobody cares. No, I don't give a fuck about Anita Sarkeesian. Why did you, you bring up this Gamergate shit? Sargon has been around past Gamergate. Are you just lost in 2014? Like, what's the matter? Like, jo genuinely, John, like, what is the matter with you? Can you not define shitty parenting for me beyond not sitting your daughter down and saying left is cerebral? Or can you define shitty parenting for me? What does it mean to be a shitty parent? I'm forming a conclusion on Matt Vickers' character based on his actions and the, how based his daughter ended up. Based on zero out. evidence, John. It's not You're zero a evidence. Conclusion you can see it to all my points, which evidence, co you co you can see it to all the premises which lead to my valid conclusion. Zero evidence, John. And now, and now you're doing these ad hominem, weird fucking off British accents to pretend that you've won, John. Like, I don't making fun of your accent doing, is not an ad hominem. That's just me making fun of your accent. But it's not making fun of my accent because you're not even <laughs> answering my questions. I, what do you mean? Your question about defining parentage? Can you define something that's obvious to like, me? What are you even saying, John? Because I can't even make out. I'm what not you're taking saying, a, a, your an argument. I'm terrible. not taking like this disingenuous argumentation seriously. Are you kidding me? That's that's absurd. Well, let's go. Let's go on to the next tweet that you put out, then, John. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. In fact, no, no. You can read out my response to what that tweet was, where I, uh, where you say, "Oh, you raised your daughter to be a." You want me to read, read out? out my okay, response. give me a second. I gotta find. I gotta get the tweet. Read my moment. words, John. All right, let me find your first response. Okay, I got it. Give me a moment. I'm gonna put it on screen for, so the audience can see it. And let me read it out. Extremely harsh and lacking in empathy, Mister John, John, is a John, good John. Man. For heaven's sake, give me the fucking right of reply. Read my words properly and with a bit of fucking conviction, John. For heaven's sake. Okay. <clears throat> Extremely harsh and lacking in empathy, That's Mr. Better. Vickers That's is a good man, better, a law-abiding pillar of the community, upstanding businessman and gun owner. Unfair to say that he's entirely responsible for his daughter being thumbed by the gun. She clearly mentally ill and in a, a need of proper help. Well, you garbled up the tweet because you can't read properly. Whoa. But I pretty, I do stand by everything. Didn't you I bitch said, about but... Ed Hominem just a moment ago? That's funny. John, come on. So what what problem do you have to pick in that tweet? It was extremely harsh and lacking in empathy. Yeah, I'm not an empathetic guy. I'm not this liberal. Um, I'm not a limey, limey dick liberal. Like, what do you want me to do? Just what, be why like, do oh my gosh, Faith got abused a by Ralph. What? Why do you, do you have to, to be like, for Why do you have to be something else other than human to show empathy, John? Dude, I, I don't get, like, why you're asking me if I need to show empathy. This is such a, an emotionally based charge argument. Well, because you're attacking the man's the attack, you're attacking the daughter, the, the daughter's father, John. Yes, yes, Twitter, I am. I'm 100% attacking the, the father of the daughter. You are 100% attacking him. You say you raised, you, you yeah, tell him right. you raised your daughter to be a degenerate yep, whore. Is, I completely stand by that because that is what he did. And he can't it's cry foul at did, this point. And you're incorrect and wrong. I, okay, I'm incorrect and wrong because Godwinson says so. Okay. Okay, let's. Okay, well, I'm happy to take that concession, John. Let's move on to the next tweet, shall we? I'll read. That wasn't, I'll read a, that wasn't a concession, you retard. Right. You have so, autism. There was so sarcasm. You say that, because I said that Mr. Vickers was a good man, you say, fuck no. If no, I he's not a, a good daughter, man. Well, let, me re let me read your tweet. Okay, John, go ahead. For heaven's sake, let me give you the right of reply and have this argument in good faith. You say, fuck no, is Mr. Vickers a good man? If I had a daughter and she had been through the shit Ralph had put her through, question mark, 
the last fucking thing I would do is appealing to a toxic online community and spreading all the family's dirty laundry for the public to see for attention, right? Yeah, that's why. Do you still stand by that, John? One hundred percent, yes. So you don't agree with M Matthew Vickers having tried his best, having spent thousands and forgiving an actual holiday for his remaining children just He's to try and bring her home? No, I don't support that at all. Look at that, that where that ended up with him. So, so you don't recognize that he's clearly done his best to bring her back? Um, I don't know if he did or not. I don't really give a shit because what you're missing. Well, I, I think you, I think this is pretty important because we need to define what you think a shitty parent is. And if you think a shitty parent is going to spend thousands to fly her back, no, home, no, no, that doesn't matter if that particular action was shitty parenting or not. It does not change the well, fact I think that it before does that, because you're it saying that matter, it, subsequent to that, no, it does not matter. It does not fucking matter. And toxic. No, it doesn't fucking matter if that's shitty parenting or not. Matthew Vick well, was looking out does. for his daughter in the way that he, because first of all, that he that's did not by going... Parenting. That's a father trying and doing his best to bring Great, his that particular... And, and that, secondly, Great, you John, found one secondly, example of John, Matthew Vickers doing the right thing. He's clearly been led to coming online and speaking his truth. No, no, that's is bullshit. No, that is, some, that is some this Me Too style here, bullshit. John. No, that is some Me Too style bullshit. He's at bullshit. his wit's end, John. Oh, no, he is? Then why is he fucking calling a lawyer? This is the only way to win, John. No, it isn't. What are you talking about? What is he winning so, against? Okay, give, give, me another, give me another option that Matt Vickers has. Okay, here's an idea. Option one, do nothing, ignore it, let her daughter face do nothing. Yes. Do nothing. Yeah. Let Ethan Ralph smear you as beating your child. Let Ethan Ralph smear you as saying you didn't know your daughter was being raped. One hundred percent correct. Like, I'll tell you exactly on, why. Nobody do nothing. Yeah. Let doing nothing Ethan works. Ralph smear you on the internet where you have your business. Hosted hey, hey, Godwin. Some people smear me. Godwin. Some people on Twitch or on a People with much account. higher clout have smeared me. Seriously, John. Godwin. Do nothing. Godwin. What's the matter with you? Godwin. 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 Godwin relax. People have smeared with much higher followers and reach than Ralph. Smeared me. Sargon smeared, smeared me. Nick Ricada smeared me. A what, who bunch cares of about you? I'm talking about Mr. Oh, who Vickers cares about me? Daughter. But we're going to go ahead and cry. Talk, you are entirely tears irrelevant. Over Matt Vickers, Matt Vickers is entirely irrelevant, you retard. He's not, doesn't matter. What? Does how he owe is, you how money? How is Mr. Vickers entirely irrelevant? Does he owe you money? Does he owe you money? Twitter. Do you do business with Matt Vickers? Does he owe you money? What's your relationship with Matt Vickers? Why do you fuck you I'm care? I'm pretty sure Matthew Vickers' business is hosted on the internet. And Ralph Why does that concern you? Why does that concern you? Why is Matthew is it, Vickers okay, relevant John, to you? Is Ethan Ralph constantly being written about via mainstream media outlets? What? When? What articles in the past two <laughs> all year? Okay, are we just going to pretend that Ethan Ralph doesn't have the Wall Street Journal coming after him? Doesn't that was two have, years ago. What, what, what was it? Vanity Fair? That or was something, two or years ago. Magazine that came. That about was two years ago. Like, are we just going to pretend ago. that Ethan Ralph is not a public figure now, so you can pretend that? It doesn't, no if, it, it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter if I'm not having an argument about whether or not Ethan Ralph is a public figure. Of, like, are you doesn't... retarded, John? Are you genuinely like obtuse, dude? Are, are you, you fucking retarded? You're saying that John. you're you're lying in front of everyone right now by saying that Ethan Ralph is written up all the time by journalists, I and mean, it's not the is case. Is he not? No, Didn't he's not. Ethan Ralph last week, John, have an article written about him and his shenanigans on D Live, John. Didn't well, that would be news, John. Who wrote the article? Who wrote the article? What? Who wrote the article? Well, you can Google it yourself. Okay, it's well, a mainstream okay. media outlet. Okay, let's do a little. That has let's a do a very, very digging. substantial circulation Ethan amongst Ralph. the members of the um, public. Let's go to Google News. Let's see. Oh, look, there's nothing here. Um, let me try going from relevant to date. Huh? It's can somebody like, Godwin says it's almost like you're full of shit. That article linking Ethan let's Ralph feds to the rescue by Trump deploying. Can somebody to link this retard? The constant articles from the Wall Street Journal. Oh, Metro, look, a Russian propaganda talking site about talked Ethan about Ralph's use Ralph as a reference on the internet. Can somebody link this retard? Actual fucking articles because he's so obtuse Let's and see. so disingenuous far right morons exit of lee happened. tucker carlson ethan writer files revelation of racist beliefs he's just going to pretend that this is not the case Where's ethan ralph even mentioned this one far right podcast host ethan ralph shared a john you can sentiment. read the article in your own time the fact oh, is that mainstream media, 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 media outlets are instigated are witch hunt these are all negative articles uh, talking about ethan ralph this is a negative hearing i found one by right wing watch i'm gonna guess it's by jared holt how about that jared holt by the John, what are you even talking about? Godwinson, do you know what you're are talking you gonna about? Are you going to let me talk? Or are you going to talk over me? You've like had so much room and time to talk. You can't be bitching about that this John, point. every time I talk, you talk over me. Okay, go ahead. Because your you're point. autistic. Make your point. Okay, let me make my point then. Mm -hmm. Ethan Ralph has a substantial reach beyond Kiwi Farms and you. Okay? 
Ethan Ralph smearing a man on the internet to 50,000 followers on a verified account mm -hmm. when he's constantly under the eyes of mainstream media outlets like the Wall Street Journal and whatever, t what Time Magazine or whatever fucking articles. Why do you reference articles from two years ago? J John, let me finish. For heaven's sake, all right, this is all what right. you do. All right, Every all time right. I'm talking, you're just talking. All right, guess I'll have to take notes. The right of reply. Are you going to let me talk, John? Or uh, do you just want to carry on speaking? Because if you just want to do a monologue, you can be perfectly happy to do that on your own. Go ahead. Am I allowed to talk, John? You've had the floor. Go ahead. Okay. So he tweets out 50,000 followers, verified account. He has the ability to smear someone, especially if Matthew Vickers' his business is hosted on the internet. Ethan Ralph has far more of a reach than just you and Kiwi Farms. Ethan Ralph is a public figure. And I'm pretty sure every time that Ethan Ralph is doing something notorious, it's being written up in various mainstream media articles and outlets. It's completely disingenuous to say that Ethan Ralph has zero reach and whatever Ethan Ralph says on Twitter is just completely irrelevant. You also said on your subsequent tweet that on a good tweet, Ethan Ralph only has 100 likes. But I'm pretty sure last week, Ethan Ralph got thousands of retweets, thousands of likes, thousands of engagement. People engaging with that tweet about riot is guaranteed when the Black Panther died. So you're being disingenuous about, you're misrepresenting Ethan Ralph's numbers. You're incorrect on this matter. Okay, this tweet, John, yeah, I, I actually got this tweet before the stream started because you sent it to me. Yeah, I didn't know about this tweet. It has 475 retweets, um, 100, 1,600 quote tweets and 4K likes. Um, and also, this is a very inflammatory tweet that probably got picked up by something else. So here's here's the points I want to go over that you made in that little screed. Um, tweets out to 50 with 50k followers, 40,000 of them. I'm going to take a guess are dead or sock accounts that don't even fucking matter. So fuck off with that. Secondly, well, start, verified account, as I said, be true. You don't know that 40,000 sock accounts. Then why is it only that? That's just incorrect. Then why is it all your examples? That's just schizo posts. Great. Great. Then why is it that all of your examples have always been retweeted by someone with greater reach than Ralph has where he's get all these thousands of, um, uh, res responses. If that's not the case. What Why are you is talking it? about? You said on a good tweet, Ethan Ralph only gets a thousand, a hundred view, a hundred what engagements. I said, well, no, on a good tweet, which is recent, which is from last week, he gets thousands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got eight. Well, yeah, there's no point one going, tweet. Mm -hmm. Just okay, either yeah, he agree got or disagree, one, John. He got. I can't. Well, I'm not going to disagree with like uh, what you said about him getting no because it's one fact. tweet. It's not baseless yeah, at all. One tweet. And what is baseless, one tweet John, got is thousands of all retweets. of Ralph's Twitter followers are bots. Forty thousand of them, even that's baseless. That's dude. On my pinned Twitter, I have one tweet that I made against Rene Krakata that's got like hundreds and hundreds of likes and again, retweets, but it's not indicative. Because no, we're it's not, not talking about John Michael Kelly. We're talking about Ethan Ralph being uh, a Godwin. Figure. So you had all this time to speak. Can I speak? Okay, so you're just being irrelevant. It doesn't, dude, all this shit is irrelevant. That's the, the newsflash. All this is shit. It's all irrelevant. I don't know if you're aware of this, so but none of this shit matters. Right. But you're yes. going on a crusade against people saying stuff on the internet. About I'm not you going. What do you, what do you mean a crusade? But what do you mean by that? Right. Okay, what do you mean a crusade? Right. So it's all a lot now that you're losing and now that you've dropped the losing. ball and you've dropped your spaghetti everywhere. Now it's all irrelevant. Oh, okay, look at I that. Guess. He's embarrassed himself. He should concede the argument. Well, you have Shut embarrassed you. yourself. Are you going to cry again, John? Are you uh, going to okay, cry Okay, again? so just going to go to ad homs? Okay. So the problem with your well, examples... How, how is, first of all, how the is the problem with your examples... Because you did If I have to explain why that's an ad hom... Don't patronize the audience. The audience is smart enough to pick up that that's an ad hom, dude. To a man who admitted to your face... Are you familiar with the concept of a filibuster? Did you cry to this man for hours? Are you just going to deny that? Or is that Mm -hmm. Okay. Irrelevant. Well, is that fact, John? Or are you just going to keep mm -hmm me? Is, uh, I'm going to mm -hmm you because you're trying to go on a tangent, and I'm did not you, Did you it. cry when a man who admitted he was fucking a tranny as he was talking to you? Did what? You cry? What? For hours? Oh yeah, that incident that happened four years ago. That you think happened just yesterday? Yeah, it fucking happened. So what, who gives a fuck? Why do you give a fuck and about that? It's a that? fact, right? It's a fact. That's not in doubt, is it? No, that is a fact. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm glad we can agree on facts and actually. Yeah. Yeah. Because again, I'm not trying to come as this high and mighty figure. If something embarrassing happened to me, yeah, it's embarrassing. But you know what? Who gives a fuck? Well, do you think it's not morally fucking what questionable to cry and, and to base yourself? Why is that an immoral act? It's on embarrassing. Air, wait, wait. wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Firstly, that wasn't on air. Firstly, that wasn't on air. Firstly, that wasn't on air. Secondly, why do you think it's immoral to? What are you talking about? It wasn't on air. What's the immorality? I can hear you crying. But it now, wasn't John. on air. It was on no. air, John. Do you That's understand what fact. the words on air mean? It was a private hangout. 
P- people, have we not heard John crying it's on a, air? It was a private hangout. Like, have we not, target. people, have we not heard? Is this not widely available where we can hear John's tears? It's a like, private what are you hangout. Talking about, John? Okay, when you say on air, that implies it's broadcast or live or it's on the radio it's or television. It's broadcast. It's on YouTube. I can Google it now. I no, that wasn't now. on YouTube. It's you on air. It's That's a re-upload John. of a recording. Or did you not know that? Did you not know that I was recording, not a stream? Why the fuck do you keep on talking about things John, you have no you, idea what the fuck you're talking about? I'm not. You seriously no, you're making up. No, I'm not being pedantic. Where, this where is a very, very good point because the part you don't want to bring up, the part about that, the part about that, the part about that you don't want to bring up is the fact that there was a little bit of blackmail involved with that. But you don't want to talk about that. You just want to talk about oh, how embarrassing is it that John Kelly cried? No, no. In fact, I want to talk about you. No, about, I don't care about you why you talk about me. I'm tired. I'm done with this deflection. John, John, we're not John, here to talk John, about every tw- John, everything under the sun. To this point. You're a great Christian. You're a morally pure. You never That's irrelevant. I have to get back to your points about you never Ralph any and the tweets. Claims or anything like that. In fact, your morals are perfect. Did I, I, I claim to be perfect? Godwin. Godwinson, did I claim to be perfect? Godwinson, did I claim to be perfect? Yes, you did. When? Many times, John. When? You never Cite make one any example. claims that aren't based. Cite one example. You never make any example. claims without verifiable evidence. Cite one example. I never claim that. <laughs> Didn't you say that at the start of the stream? No. You make zero baseless claims. No, 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 no. Don't twist it. When did I ever claim so now, to be perfect? No, now you're walking back. Edwin. I'm not walking back anything, Godwinson. Why are you so full of shit? Why do you have to do this disingenuous with slimy tactics? I know you're smart. How is it disingenuous to Because point I asked you a specific you question, old... then you're trying to bring up how something else. How is it disingenuous, else. John, to point Because you're trying to bring up a different question. You know you're wrong about that. You know I never claimed to be perfect. You said, you had said, I asked you point blank if I ever claimed to be perfect. And you responded, I asked point blank if you... He's fucking a tranny and then making you cry. Okay, like, great. That's, that, that's a that is behavior. a wonderfully robust like argument that. you that's have. Not a good Christian capitulating to somebody like that, John. Okay, that's a great argument, Godwinson. Unfortunately, it has it nothing to do with what we're talking argument. about. No, it's and not. It's actually points to correspond. Uh, again, Godwinson, you have autism. You don't understand how to pick up sarcasm. <laughs> the autist is telling the, the fucking normal person that he Godwinson, has, okay, you're not right, a normal John, fucking right. person. Let's we'll get all that pretend that we've all got mental illnesses, John. <laughs> John, John, you don't. Godwinson, you can't pick up sarcasm. Godwinson, you can't pick up sarcasm. I make a sarcastic comment, like you made a good point. What is it, John? Is mental illness autism? I'm sorry, I'm not answering this question. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about. So, firstly, I want to address the fact <laughs> that you lied. That you lied by saying I claimed to be perfect. And then I want to address the fact that after you claimed that I said to be perfect, you tried to deflect something else. So why did you lie about me claiming to be perfect? Did you not say at the start of the stream that you never make any claims ever that aren't baseless? No, I didn't. No, I didn't say that. In fact, I even said, said I try to be as accurate as possible. And I, and actually, if you actually bother to listen to my streams, which you clearly don't, I always tell my audience, no, if I, I got I, anything wrong, see. go ahead and leave a comment or contact me and point it out. This uh, puppet operator of PPP who apparently has zero agency. And he Did I ever claim that? that I set up Did I ever claim PPP has zero agency? I'm pretty sure you did. Pretty sure? Oh, now you're walking the back a little. Okay. I see how it is. You like to do this well, okay, bullshit yeah, games and try to go ahead and deflect that. the conversation and reframe arguments and slip in little lies and the get your opponent to agree with them. But people can the see through this, Godwinson. You call PPP a fat retard that apparently I feed, that apparently I fund, and apparently I use as a weapon. I didn't say that. You didn't even listen to the stream. You're fucking retarded. You you're full of shit. That, okay, go ahead. Bring up the clip and I'll play it. So I, I've got to bring up a two-hour context segment. You when have to, yes. When you're making claims, you have to actually provide the context, you fucking dipshit. Like I know you're a refugee from Gamergate, but this is... A refugee from Gamergate. Here. What were you doing We've during Gamergate? I'm curious. two-hour context of John doing a stream on Godwinson. We've got uh, Godwinson, I do have to ask. Why did you so go you ahead? Why did, mic, Godwinson. John, so I'm going. Goodbye. Okay. You turn down my mic. Like yeah, I turned down your mic because so you're I'm constantly going. talking over me. Yeah, and this is my what, show. What and you're lucky I didn't just throw you out. Coward. I'm a coward because you're and you're the one re- leaving. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that was fun. Ah. Yeah, I did turn him down by thirty percent of his volume. And why did I do that? Because he was outright lying and doing this thing where he's talking over me and trying to filibuster the whole thing. The thing is, the thing is, when you get down to it, Godwin's is just full of shit. You heard him live on air that he himself had said that. I was that he loves to make baseless claims. Well, he made a whole bunch of fucking baseless claims. I never claimed Godwin was a feeder. I never claimed that he was funding PPP. He's so full of shit. Am I asking him to provide the context for this shit or to make citations for his for the dumb claims he's making? 
He doesn't come back to me with anything. He doesn't have shit. Even though right before this conversation, I told him there's anything you want me to show on screen, provide it to me. That should tell you the character of Godwinson. And the fact that he's taking up for this horrible person called Matthew Vickers, who raised his daughter to be a fucking whore. And he wants to play, oh my gosh, Matthew Vickers is like uh, such a victim. Matthew Vickers is not a victim. F period. Anyone saying that is a liar. He is not losing business because Kiwi Farms and Twitterari on the, on the internet aren't going ahead and saying that uh, I'm buying his shit. They never would. This is why he's not going to court. This is why he's going ahead and trying to build a reputation for himself and notoriety. It's to make money off of this. And he's using his own daughter to do it. And it makes me sick. It really does. And that's why I call him out over it. I 100% stand by it. All right. Um, this was this is an impromptu stream. I'm glad that Godwinson showed up. Um, I'm disappointed that he was not as honest as he tries to... Uh, I mean, let's just be real here. Godwinson's never been honest. He's always been full of shit. And his excuse has always been, yes, I am shit. I am covered in shit. He's such a fucking retard. All right. That ends things here. Hope to see you next time.